Oh. What about me? All right. You picked Some up some jokes at the hospital. They're with me. They're worth it. Oh, okay. So there's an old geezer who had been a retired farmer for a long time, and he was very bored, and decided in his wisdom he's going to open a medical clinic. He put up a sign outside that says, "Get your treatment for five hundred bucks." And if I can't cure you, you get back a thousand. Mm. So, mm -hmm. Dr. Young was positive that this old geezer didn't know beans about medicine. I thought this would be a great opportunity to get a thousand bucks. He went to Dr. Geezer's clinic and this is what happens. Dr. Young says, Dr. Geezer, could you help me? I've lost all taste in my mouth. Could you please help me? Dr. Geezer instructs the nurse, please bring medicine from box 22 and put three drops in Dr. Young's mouth. Dr. Young screams, ah, that's gasoline. Dr. <laughs> Geezer says, congratulations, you're cured. That will be $500. <laughs> 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 uh, Dr. Young gets annoyed and goes back after a couple of days, figuring to recover his money. Dr. Young says, I have lost my memory. I can't remember anything. Dr. Geezer yells, nurse, please bring medicine from box 22 and put three drops in the patient's mouth. Dr. Young retorts, oh, no, you don't. That's gasoline. He <laughs> <laughs> goes, congratulations, you've got your memory back. That will be 500. <laughs> Now, after having lost a thousand, he leaves very angrily and comes back after several more days. He says, my eyesight has become very weak. I can hardly see a thing. Dr. Geezer says, well, I don't have any medicine for that. So here's your thousand dollars back. Dr. Young goes, but that's only 500. Dr. Geezer goes, congratulations, you've got your sight back. That will be fun. That's a good one. Beautiful. Yeah. So, a young male patient just recovered successfully from a sex-threatening health attack. He was oh. wearing an oxygen mask over his mouth and nose and laying on a hospital bed. A young nurse came in to clean his body with a sponge. The patient noticed, are oh, my testicles black? The nurse replied, I don't know, sir. I'm just getting you clean. The patient repeated again, are oh, my testicles black? The nurse was quite an embarrassed to answer the question and said, sir, everything should be okay. The patient just kept on asking again and again, are oh, my testicles black? The nurse couldn't bear a patient concern so much, so she raised his gown, gave her ha moved her hand to find and grab his penis and his testicles, moved it all around, checked very closely. Suddenly, the man ejaculated on the nurse's hand. The <sighs> man gets frustrated, pulls off his oxygen mask and yells loudly, Ma'am, thanks, but I still need to know, are my test results back? <laughs> uh, yeah. uh, a young naval officer, he was in a very terrible car accident, but due to the heroics of a hospital staff, the only permanent injury was that he lost one ear. Since he wasn't physically impaired at all, he remained in the military and eventually became an admiral. However, during his oh. career, he was always very sensitive about his appearance. So one day, he was interviewing two Navy Master Chiefs and a Marine Gunnery Sergeant for his personal staff. Mm -hmm. The first Master Chief was a surface Navy type and was a great interview. At the end of the interview, the Admiral asked him, Do you notice anything different about me? The Master Chief answered, why, yes, I couldn't help notice you're missing your starboard ear. But I don't know whether this impacts your hearing on that side. The Admiral got very angry at this and threw him out of the office. The next candidate, an aviation Master Chief, when asked the same question, answered, well, yes, you seem to be short on one ear. The Admiral threw him out also. 
The third interview was with a machine marine gunnery sergeant. He was very articulate, extremely sharp. He seemed to know more than the other two Master Chiefs put together. The Admiral really wanted this guy, but went ahead with the same question. Do you notice anything different about me? To his surprise, the gunnery sergeant said, Yes, you wear contact lenses. The Admiral was very impressed and thought to himself, What an incredibly tactful Marine. And how do you know that? The Admiral asked. The gunner replied, well, sir, it's pretty hard to wear glasses with only one ear. (laughs) 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 So, John and David were both patients in a mental hospital. One day, John suddenly dived into the deep end of the swimming pool. David jumped, saved him, and the medical director became to know of his heroic act. He immediately ordered David to be discharged from the mental hospital as he's clearly okay. The doctor said to him, we have good news and bad for you, David. The good news is that we are going to discharge you because you've regained your senses since you were able to jump in and save another patient. You are now a normal, regular person. Bad news is that the patient, Mr. John, whom you tried to save, hung himself in the toilet and died. They was oh. the doctor. He didn't hang himself. I put him there to dry. Blimey. <laughs> so, there's a man who had a very serious illness and he was in a coma. Late one night, he regained consciousness. He found himself in agonising pain in the hospital's ICUs tubes up his nose, wires monitoring every function, and a gorgeous nurse hovering over him. He realised he'd obviously been in a very serious accident. She gave him a deep look straight into his eyes, and he heard her slowly say, you may not feel anything from the waist down. Somehow he managed to mumble a reply, oh, okay, can I feel your tits then? Mm. (laughs) So Peter's visiting his mate and comments, your secretary is very sexy. Tony goes, thanks, but you'd never know this, but it's actually a robot named Maria. If you squeeze her right boob, she takes dictation. And if you squeeze squeeze her left boob, she types letters. I'll tell you what, I'll lend it to you for a day and you can see how she works. Next day, Peter calls Tony from the hospital and shouted, You bastard! You didn't tell me that the hole between her legs is a pencil sharpener. I guess he got the point. No! Oh. <laughs> <laughs> was, was given the point. Needle oh dick the bug God. fucker. Right. So Jerry was in the hospital and he was recovering from the surgery when a nurse asked him how's he's feeling. He said, I'm okay, but I really didn't like the four letter word the doctor used when I was in the surgery. He answered, What did he say? asked the nurse. Oops! Has anybody seen my watch? Mm. Oh my god. Two little kids are in hospital beds next to each other. The first kid leans over and asks, What are you in here for? The second kid says, I'm here to get my tonsils out and I'm I'm a little nervous. The first kid said, You've got nothing to worry about at all. I had that done when I was four. They put you to sleep, and when you wake up, they give you lots of jelly and ice cream. It's a breeze. Oh, says the second kid. What are you in here for? A circumcision, says the first patient. Whoa, exclaims the second kid. Good luck, mate. I had that done just after I was born, and I couldn't walk for a year. (laughs) (laughs) that's great so this is my last one for the night okay 
I was sitting in the waiting room of the hospital after my wife had gone into labour. And the nurse walked out and said to the man sitting next to me, Congratulations, sir, you're the new father of twins. The man replied, How about that? I work for the Double Mint Chewing Gum Company. Mm. <laughs> the man then followed the woman into his wife's room. About an hour later, the same nurse entered the waiting room and announced that Mr. Smith's wife had just had triplets. Mm. Mr. Smith stood up and said, well, how do you like that? I work for the 3M company. Mm. <laughs> the gentleman that was sitting next to me then got up and started to leave. When I asked why he was leaving me, Mark, I think I need a brush of fest air, the man continued. I work for 7-Up. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> 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 Oh, I'm so Thank you, everybody.